Welcome, fellow seekers of the arcane, to Spellbound Stories. I am Black, your chronicler in this odyssey of the divine and the royal. Today marks the commencement of our saga, Gods and Pharaohs, exploring Egyptian mythology, where we start with part one of a series shrouded in the mists of time. Are you prepared to step through the gates of the ancient world? To gaze upon the faces of beings powerful enough to shape the very fabric of reality? Before we unravel the first thread of this tapestry, ensure you are part of this journey. Subscribe to Spellbound Stories and hit the bell icon so you won't miss a single revelation. Gods and Pharaohs Exploring Egyptian Mythology is a comprehensive guide that delves into the rich and fascinating world of ancient Egyptian mythology. This book takes readers on a journey through the origins of Egyptian mythology, exploring its importance in ancient Egyptian society and the key gods and goddesses that were revered. It also examines the symbols and rituals associated with Egyptian mythology, providing a deeper understanding of the religious practices of the time. The book further explores the creation myths of ancient Egypt, including the stories of the world's creation and the gods' role in it. It delves into the captivating tales of Ra and the Sun, as well as the myth of Osiris and Isis, shedding light on the significance of these myths in Egyptian society. Additionally, the book examines the pantheon of gods and goddesses, from the nine major gods known as the Aeneid to the lesser-known deities. It explores the role of gods in Egyptian mythology, their relationships with humans, and the worship and temples dedicated to them. Furthermore, gods and pharaohs, exploring Egyptian mythology, delves into the realm of mythical creatures and monsters in Egyptian mythology. It uncovers the mysteries of the Sphinx and other guardian creatures, the serpent Apophis, who was the enemy of Ra, and the demoness Amit, devourer of souls. The book also explores the significance of these mythical creatures in Egyptian mythology. In addition to exploring the myths and legends, the book delves into the concept of the afterlife in ancient Egypt. It examines the beliefs surrounding the afterlife, the judgment in the underworld through the weighing of the heart, and the guide to the afterlife known as the Book of the Dead. The book also explores the funerary practices and rituals associated with the journey to the afterlife. Gods and Pharaohs Exploring Egyptian Mythology also sheds light on the divine kingship of the pharaohs. It explores the belief that the pharaohs were living gods, their role in Egyptian mythology, and the divine birth and coronation rituals they underwent. The book also delves into the pharaoh's journey to the afterlife, providing insights into the beliefs and practices surrounding their death and burial. Lastly, the book examines the legacy of Egyptian mythology and its influence on ancient Egyptian culture. It explores how Egyptian mythology permeated various aspects of society, from art and architecture to religious practices and beliefs. The book provides a comprehensive understanding of the enduring impact of Egyptian mythology on ancient Egyptian civilization. Origins of Egyptian Mythology Egyptian mythology is one of the oldest and most complex mythological systems in the world. It dates back to the pre-dynastic period of ancient Egypt, which began around 6000 BCE and lasted until the rise of the first pharaohs in 3100 BCE. The origins of Egyptian mythology can be traced back to the early religious beliefs and practices of the ancient Egyptians. The ancient Egyptians believed in a multitude of gods and goddesses who controlled various aspects of life and the natural world. These deities were seen as powerful beings who possessed both human and animal characteristics. The mythology of ancient Egypt was deeply intertwined with their daily lives, rituals, and religious practices. The Influence of Ancient Egyptian Culture the origins of Egyptian mythology can be traced back to the early agricultural communities along the Nile River. The Nile River played a crucial role in the lives of the ancient Egyptians, providing fertile land for farming and transportation. The annual flooding of the Nile was seen as a divine event, and the ancient Egyptians believed that the gods controlled the floodwaters. The ancient Egyptians believed that the gods and goddesses were responsible for maintaining order and balance in the world. They believed that the gods controlled the forces of nature, such as the sun, the moon, and the Nile River. The ancient Egyptians also believed in the concept of Ma'at, which represented the principles of truth, justice, and cosmic order. The Influence of Ancient Egyptian Religion The ancient Egyptians had a complex religious system that was deeply intertwined with their mythology. They believed in a pantheon of gods and goddesses who governed different aspects of life in the natural world. These deities were worshipped in temples and shrines throughout ancient Egypt. 
The ancient Egyptians believed that the gods and goddesses had the power to influence their daily lives and protect them from harm. They believed that by performing rituals and offering sacrifices, they could gain the favor of the gods and ensure their well-being. The ancient Egyptians also believed in the concept of an afterlife, where the soul would continue to exist after death. Origins of Egyptian Mythology Egyptian mythology is one of the oldest and most complex mythological systems in the world. It dates back to the pre-dynastic period of ancient Egypt, which began around 6000 BCE and lasted until the rise of the first pharaohs in 3100 BCE. The origins of Egyptian mythology can be traced back to the early religious beliefs and practices of the ancient Egyptians. The ancient Egyptians believed in a multitude of gods and goddesses who controlled various aspects of life and the natural world. These deities were seen as powerful beings who possessed both human and animal characteristics. The mythology of ancient Egypt was deeply intertwined with their daily lives, rituals, and religious practices. The Influence of Ancient Egyptian Culture The origins of Egyptian mythology can be traced back to the early agricultural communities along the Nile River. The Nile River played a crucial role in the lives of the ancient Egyptians, providing fertile land for farming and transportation. The annual flooding of the Nile was seen as a divine event, and the ancient Egyptians believed that the gods controlled the floodwaters. The ancient Egyptians believed that the gods and goddesses were responsible for maintaining order and balance in the world. They believed that the gods controlled the forces of nature, such as the sun, the moon, and the Nile River. The ancient Egyptians also believed in the concept of Ma'at, which represented the principles of truth, justice, and cosmic order. The Influence of Ancient Egyptian Religion The ancient Egyptians had a complex religious system that was deeply intertwined with their mythology. They believed in a pantheon of gods and goddesses who governed different aspects of life and the natural world. These deities were worshipped in temples and shrines throughout ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians believed that the gods and goddesses had the power to influence their daily lives and protect them from harm. They believed that by performing rituals and offering sacrifices, they could gain the favor of the gods and ensure their well-being. The ancient Egyptians also believed in the concept of an afterlife, where the soul would continue to exist after death. Key Gods and Goddesses Egyptian mythology is rich with a pantheon of gods and goddesses, each with their own unique powers, responsibilities, and stories. These deities played a central role in the lives of the ancient Egyptians, influencing every aspect of their society, from religious rituals to daily activities. In this section, we will explore some of the key gods and goddesses of Egyptian mythology and delve into their significance in the ancient Egyptian belief system. Ra, the sun god Ra, also known as Re, was one of the most important gods in Egyptian mythology. He was the sun god and the creator of all life. Ra was often depicted as a man with the head of a falcon, wearing a sun disk on his head. He was believed to travel across the sky during the day, bringing light and warmth to the world. Ra was also associated with kingship and was considered the father of all pharaohs. Osiris, the god of the underworld. Osiris was the god of the afterlife and the ruler of the underworld. He was depicted as a mummified man, often wearing a white crown with ostrich feathers. Osiris was responsible for judging the souls of the deceased and determining their fate in the afterlife. He was also associated with fertility and rebirth, symbolizing the cycle of life and death. Osiris played a crucial role in Egyptian funerary rituals and was greatly revered by the ancient Egyptians. Isis, the goddess of magic and motherhood. Isis was one of the most popular goddesses in Egyptian mythology. She was the wife of Osiris and the mother of Horus, the falcon-headed god. Isis was revered as the goddess of magic, healing, and motherhood. She was often depicted with a throne on her head, symbolizing her role as the queen of the gods. Isis was known for her protective and nurturing qualities, and she was believed to have the power to bring the dead back to life. Horus, the god of kingship and sky Horus, was the son of Isis and Osiris, and was considered the god of kingship and the sky. He was often depicted as a falcon, or as a man with the head of a falcon. Horus was believed to be the protector of the pharaohs and the embodiment of divine kingship. He was also associated with the sun and the moon, representing the duality of day and night. Horus played a significant role in Egyptian mythology, particularly in the conflict between good and evil. Anubis, the god of embalming and the dead Anubis, was the god of embalming and the dead. 
He was often depicted as a man with the head of a jackal or as a full jackal. Anubis was responsible for guiding the souls of the deceased to the afterlife and overseeing the embalming process. He was also associated with mummification and the preservation of the body. Anubis played a crucial role in Egyptian funerary rituals and was believed to protect the deceased during their journey to the afterlife. Thoth, the god of wisdom and writing. Thoth was the god of wisdom, writing, and knowledge. He was often depicted as a man with the head of an ibis or as a full ibis. Thoth was believed to have invented writing and was considered the patron god of scribes and scholars. He was also associated with the moon and was believed to have the power to restore balance and order. Thoth played a significant role in Egyptian mythology, serving as a mediator and a wise counselor to the gods. These are just a few examples of the many gods and goddesses that were worshipped in ancient Egypt. Each deity had their own unique attributes and played a specific role in the lives of the ancient Egyptians. The gods and goddesses of Egyptian mythology were not only revered and worshipped, but also served as a source of inspiration and guidance for the people, shaping their beliefs, rituals, and worldview. Symbols and Rituals in Egyptian Mythology Symbols and rituals played a significant role in Egyptian mythology. They were used to convey important concepts, express religious beliefs, and connect with the divine. The ancient Egyptians believed that symbols held great power and could influence the gods and the world around them. Rituals were performed to honor the gods, seek their favor, and ensure the well-being of the community. Symbolism in Egyptian Mythology Symbols were an integral part of Egyptian mythology, representing various gods, goddesses, and concepts. These symbols were used in art, architecture, and religious ceremonies. They were believed to possess magical properties and were used to invoke the gods and protect against evil forces. One of the most well-known symbols in Egyptian mythology is the Ankh. The Ankh is a cross-like symbol with a loop at the top, often referred to as the Key of Life. It represents eternal life and was associated with the god Osiris. The Ankh was frequently depicted in the hands of gods and goddesses, symbolizing their ability to grant life and immortality. Another important symbol is the Eye of Horus, also known as the Wedjat. It is a powerful protective symbol associated with healing and restoration. The Eye of Horus was believed to bring good health and ward off evil. It was often used in amulets and jewelry, and its image was painted on the bows of boats to protect against dangers during travel. The scarab beetle was another significant symbol in Egyptian mythology. It represented rebirth and regeneration. The ancient Egyptians believed that the scarab beetle rolled the sun across the sky, symbolizing the cycle of life and death. Scarab amulets were commonly worn to bring good luck and protect against harm. The lotus flower was also a symbol of great importance in Egyptian mythology. It represented rebirth, purity, and the sun. The lotus flower was associated with the god Atum, who was believed to have emerged from a lotus that rose from the primordial waters. The lotus was often depicted in art and used in religious rituals. Rituals in Egyptian mythology. Rituals were an essential part of Egyptian mythology and were performed to honor the gods and maintain cosmic order. These rituals were conducted by priests and priestesses in temples and were believed to ensure the well-being of the community and the favor of the gods. One of the most important rituals in Egyptian mythology was the daily offering ritual. Offerings of food, drink, and incense were presented to the gods in temples and shrines. These offerings were believed to nourish the gods and maintain their favor. The priests and priestesses would perform elaborate ceremonies, recite prayers, and make offerings on behalf of the community. Another significant ritual was the opening of the mouth ceremony. This ritual was performed on statues and mummies to restore the deceased's ability to eat, drink, and speak in the afterlife. The ceremony involved the use of special tools and the recitation of spells by the priests. It was believed to ensure the well-being of the deceased in the afterlife. The festival of Opet was a major religious festival celebrated in Thebes. It was a time of great celebration and involved processions, music, dancing, and feasting. The festival was dedicated to the god Amun-Ra and was believed to renew his power and maintain the cosmic balance. The festival of the Nile was another important ritual that celebrated the annual flooding of the Nile River. This flooding was vital for the fertility of the land and the success of agriculture. The festival involved processions, music, and offerings to the river gods. It was believed to ensure a bountiful harvest and the prosperity of the community. Symbolism and rituals in everyday life. Symbols and rituals were not limited to temples and religious ceremonies, but were also a part of everyday life in ancient Egypt. 
people would wear amulets and jewelry adorned with symbolic images to protect themselves from harm and bring good fortune. Symbols were also used in personal names to invoke the power and protection of specific gods or goddesses. Rituals were performed in homes to honor the gods and ensure the well-being of the family. Offerings of food and drink were made to household deities, and prayers were recited to seek their favor and protection. Rituals were also performed during important life events such as birth, marriage, and death. In conclusion, symbols and rituals held great significance in Egyptian mythology. They were used to convey important concepts, connect with the divine, and ensure the well-being of the community. Symbols such as the Ankh, Eye of Horus, Scarab Beetle, and Lotus Flower represented various gods and concepts. Rituals, including daily offerings, the opening of the mouth ceremony, and religious festivals, were performed to honor the gods and maintain cosmic order. Symbols and rituals were not only confined to temples, but were also a part of everyday life, providing protection and invoking the power of the gods, the creation of the world, and the gods. The ancient Egyptians had a rich and complex mythology that explained the creation of the world and the origins of the gods. According to their beliefs, the universe was created out of chaos, known as Nun. Nun was a vast and formless expanse of water, representing the primordial state of existence. From this watery abyss emerged the first god, Atum. Atum was the god of creation and the sun. He was often depicted as a man wearing a double crown, symbolizing his dominion over both Upper and Lower Egypt. According to the creation myth, Atum created himself by rising out of the primordial waters of Nun. He then brought forth the first land, known as the Benben, and stood upon it. From there, he began the process of creation. Atum was a self-generating god, capable of creating other gods and beings through his own divine power. He used his own body to create the gods Shu and Tefnut, Shu represented the air, and Tefnut represented moisture. Together they formed the first pair of divine siblings. Shu and Tefnut went on to have two children of their own, Geb and Nut. Geb was the god of the earth, while Nut was the goddess of the sky. They were depicted as a loving couple with Nut arched over Geb, representing the sky embracing the earth. Their union gave birth to the gods Osiris, Isis, Seth, and Nephthys. Osiris, Isis, Seth, and Nephthys were the most important gods in Egyptian mythology. Osiris was the god of the afterlife and the ruler of the underworld. He was depicted as a mummified figure, symbolizing his role as the judge of the dead. Isis was his wife and sister, and she was the goddess of magic and motherhood. Seth was the god of chaos and violence, often depicted as a fearsome animal. Nephthys was the goddess of mourning and protection. The creation myth also explained the origin of the sun and the moon. According to the Egyptians, the sun was the eye of the god Ra, while the moon was the eye of the god Thoth. Ra was the supreme god of the sun, and he was believed to travel across the sky in a solar boat during the day. At night, he would journey through the underworld, battling the serpent Apophis to ensure the sun's safe return. Thoth, on the other hand, was the god of wisdom and writing. He was often depicted as a man with the head of an ibis or a baboon. Thoth played a crucial role in the creation myth by recording and preserving the events of the world. He was the scribe of the gods and the inventor of hieroglyphic writing. The creation myth of the ancient Egyptians provided a framework for understanding the origins of the world and the gods. It emphasized the importance of Atum as the first god and the creator of all life. It also highlighted the interconnectedness of the gods and their roles in maintaining order and balance in the universe. The creation myth was not only a religious belief, but also a way for the ancient Egyptians to make sense of their world. It provided them with a sense of purpose and meaning, as well as a guide for how to live their lives in harmony with the gods. The myth also influenced their art, architecture, and religious practices, which were all centered around the worship of the gods and the belief in their power to shape the world. In conclusion, the creation myth of Egyptian mythology explained the origins of the world and the gods. It emphasized the role of Atum as the first god and the creator of all life. The myth also highlighted the interconnectedness of the gods and their importance in maintaining order and balance in the universe. This belief system provided the ancient Egyptians with a sense of purpose and meaning, shaping their religious practices and influencing their art and architecture. The Role of Atum in Creation Atum, also known as Atum-Ra, was one of the most important gods in Egyptian mythology. 
he played a significant role in the creation of the world and the gods, and his influence extended to various aspects of Egyptian culture and belief. In this section, we will explore the role of Atum in the creation myth and his significance in Egyptian cosmology. The Primordial God In Egyptian mythology, Atum was considered the primordial god, the first being to emerge from the chaotic waters of Nun. He was often depicted as a man with a double crown, or as a serpent with the head of a man. Atum was believed to have created himself, bringing order out of chaos and establishing the foundation for the universe. The creator god Atum was not only the first god, but also the creator of the world and the other gods. According to the Heliopolitan creation myth, Atum used his own body to create the first gods, Shu, the god of air, and Tefnut, the goddess of moisture. From the union of Shu and Tefnut, the earth god Geb and the sky goddess Nut were born. This divine family formed the basis of the Egyptian pantheon, the sun god. One of the most significant aspects of Atum's role in creation was his association with the sun. Atum was often merged with the sun god Ra, forming the deity Atum Ra. As Atum Ra, he was believed to be the creator and sustainer of the world, providing light and warmth to all living beings. The sun was seen as a symbol of life and rebirth, and Atum Ra's role as the sun god reflected his power to bring life and order to the world. The Aeneid Atum was a member of the Aeneid, a group of nine deities worshipped in Heliopolis. The Aeneid consisted of Atum, Shu, Tefnut, Geb, Nut, Osiris, Isis, Seth, and Nephthys. Atum was considered the head of the Aeneid and the father of the other gods. His role as the progenitor of the divine family emphasized his importance in Egyptian mythology and cosmology. The creator of humans. In addition to creating the gods, Atum was also believed to have played a role in the creation of humans. According to some myths, this act of self-creation further emphasized Atum's role as the ultimate creator and the source of all life. The eternal and self-created God. Atum was often associated with eternity and self-creation. He was believed to be the first and the last god, existing before all other deities and continuing to exist even after the world's end. Atum's self-creation represented the cyclical nature of creation and destruction, reflecting the Egyptian belief in the eternal cycle of life, death, and rebirth. The importance of Atum in Egyptian cosmology. Atum's role in creation and his association with the sun made him a central figure in Egyptian cosmology. The Egyptians believed that the sun was born from Atum's eye, and each day, Atum Ra would travel across the sky in his sunboat, bringing light and life to the world. This daily journey of the sun symbolized the eternal cycle of creation and renewal. Atum's role as the creator and sustainer of the world also influenced Egyptian religious practices and rituals. The pharaoh, as the earthly embodiment of the gods, was believed to be a direct descendant of Atum. The pharaoh's role was to maintain order and balance in the world, just as Atum had done during the creation. In conclusion, Atum played a crucial role in Egyptian mythology and cosmology. As the primordial god and the creator of the world and the gods, Atum represented the beginning and the end, the source of all life and the eternal cycle of creation and destruction. His association with the sun and his role as the head of the Aeneid further emphasized his significance in Egyptian culture and belief. Atum's legacy continues to fascinate and inspire people to this day as we explore the rich tapestry of Egyptian mythology and its enduring influence on human civilization. The Myth of Osiris and Isis The myth of Osiris and Isis is one of the most well-known and significant stories in Egyptian mythology. It is a tale of love, betrayal, death, and resurrection that has captivated the imaginations of people for centuries. This myth not only provides insight into the beliefs and values of ancient Egyptians, but also serves as a metaphor for the cycle of life and death. The story of Osiris. According to the myth, Osiris was the son of the sky goddess Nut and the earth god Geb. He was born as the rightful heir to the throne of Egypt, destined to become a wise and just ruler. Osiris married his sister Isis, who was not only his wife, but also his closest confidant and advisor. Osiris was a beloved king who brought prosperity and civilization to Egypt. He taught the people how to cultivate the land, introduced laws and justice, and promoted the worship of the gods. His reign was a golden age for the kingdom, and the people revered him as a wise and benevolent ruler. However, Osiris's brother Set grew jealous of his success and coveted the throne for himself. 
Set was a chaotic and destructive deity, representing the forces of chaos and disorder. In a fit of envy and rage, Set plotted to kill Osiris and take his place as the ruler of Egypt, the betrayal and death of Osiris. Set devised a cunning plan to eliminate his brother. He hosted a grand feast and invited Osiris to attend. At the feast, Set presented a beautifully crafted chest as a gift to Osiris, claiming that whoever could fit inside it would be the rightful owner. Unbeknownst to Osiris, the chest was custom made to his exact measurements. Curiosity got the better of Osiris, and he climbed into the chest to see if it would fit him. As soon as he was inside, Set and his followers sealed the chest shut and threw it into the Nile River. The chest was carried away by the current, and Osiris drowned. Isis, devastated by the loss of her husband, embarked on a quest to find his body and give him a proper burial. She searched tirelessly, traveling far and wide, until she finally discovered the chest lodged in a tamarisk tree in Byblos, a city in modern-day Lebanon. The resurrection of Osiris Isis brought the chest back to Egypt and hid it in a secret location. Set, however, discovered the hiding place and, consumed by rage, tore the body of Osiris into 14 pieces and scattered them across the land. Isis was heartbroken but determined to bring her husband back to life. With the help of her sister Nephthys and the god Anubis, Isis embarked on a quest to find and reassemble the body of Osiris. She traveled to every corner of Egypt, collecting each piece of Osiris's body and carefully reassembling it. Once the body was complete, Isis used her magical powers to revive Osiris temporarily. During this time, they conceived a son, Horus, who would later become a central figure in Egyptian mythology. However, Osiris could not remain in the land of the living forever. Osiris as the god of the underworld. After his temporary resurrection, Osiris became the ruler of the underworld, known as the Duat. He became the judge of the dead, weighing their hearts against the feather of Maat, the goddess of truth and justice. If the heart was lighter than the feather, the deceased would be granted eternal life in the afterlife. If the heart was heavier, it would be devoured by the monstrous Amit, and the soul would cease to exist. Osiris's role as the god of the underworld symbolized the cycle of life and death. He represented the transformative power of death and the promise of rebirth. The myth of Osiris and Isis served as a reminder to the ancient Egyptians that death was not the end, but rather a transition to a new existence. The Symbolism and Influence of the Osiris Myth The myth of Osiris and Isis held great significance in ancient Egyptian culture. It represented the eternal struggle between order and chaos, good and evil, and life and death. The story emphasized the importance of justice, resurrection, and the afterlife. The myth also had a profound influence on Egyptian religious beliefs and rituals. The annual festival of Osiris, known as the Osiris Mysteries, was celebrated throughout Egypt, commemorating the death and resurrection of Osiris. The festival involved elaborate processions, rituals, and performances, symbolizing the cyclical nature of life and death. Furthermore, the myth of Osiris and Isis influenced the concept of kingship in ancient Egypt. The pharaohs were believed to be the earthly embodiment of Horus, the son of Osiris and Isis. This connection between the pharaoh and the divine allowed the ruler to maintain order and ensure the prosperity of the kingdom. In conclusion, the myth of Osiris and Isis is a captivating tale that explores themes of love, betrayal, death, and resurrection. It provides insight into the beliefs and values of ancient Egyptians and serves as a metaphor for the cycle of life and death. The story of Osiris and Isis continues to fascinate and inspire people to this day, highlighting the enduring power of Egyptian mythology. The Creation of Humans In Egyptian mythology, the creation of humans is a fascinating and complex story that sheds light on the beliefs and values of the ancient Egyptians. According to their mythology, the creation of humans was not a random or accidental event, but a deliberate act by the gods. The Role of Atum in Human Creation Atum, the creator god, played a central role in the creation of humans. He was believed to be the first god and the source of all life. According to the myth, Atum emerged from the primordial waters of chaos and created the world and the gods. But he wanted companionship and desired to populate the earth with beings like himself. To create humans, Atum used his own divine essence and combined it with the elements of the earth. He molded clay into the shape of humans and breathed life into them, infusing them with his own divine spark. 
This act of creation was seen as a sacred and divine process, symbolizing the connection between the gods and humanity. The Divine Purpose of Humans In Egyptian mythology, humans were not created merely as servants or playthings for the gods. They were seen as having a unique and important role in the cosmic order. Humans were believed to be the bridge between the earthly realm and the divine realm, serving as intermediaries between the gods and the rest of creation. The ancient Egyptians believed that humans were created to maintain Mat, the divine order and balance of the universe. They were expected to live in harmony with the gods, follow the laws of Mat, and fulfill their responsibilities towards the gods, their fellow humans, and the natural world. The Connection Between Humans and the Gods According to Egyptian mythology, humans were closely connected to the gods. They believed that each person had a Ba, a unique spiritual essence that was part of their individuality and identity. The Ba was believed to be a divine aspect of the person, connecting them to the gods in the afterlife. The ancient Egyptians also believed in the concept of Ka, which was the life force or vital energy that animated all living beings. The Ka was seen as a divine gift from the gods, and it was believed to reside within the body of each person. It was the Ka that allowed humans to think, feel, and experience life. The Responsibilities of Humans In Egyptian mythology, humans had certain responsibilities towards the gods and the cosmic order. They were expected to worship and honor the gods through rituals, offerings, and prayers. These acts of devotion were seen as a way to maintain the balance between the human and divine realms. Humans were also expected to fulfill their social and moral obligations towards each other. They were encouraged to live virtuous lives, showing kindness, compassion, and respect towards others. The ancient Egyptians believed that by living in accordance with Mat, humans could contribute to the overall harmony and well-being of the world. The Gift of Free Will One interesting aspect of the creation of humans in Egyptian mythology is the belief in free will. Unlike some other mythologies where humans are seen as mere puppets or slaves of the gods, the ancient Egyptians believed that humans had the ability to make choices and shape their own destinies. While the gods provided guidance and assistance, humans were seen as active participants in their own lives. They had the freedom to choose their actions, make decisions, and determine their own paths. This belief in free will reflected the Egyptian belief in personal responsibility and the importance of individual agency. The Cycle of Life and Death In Egyptian mythology, the creation of humans was not seen as a one-time event, but as part of a larger cycle of life and death. The ancient Egyptians believed in the concept of reincarnation, where the soul would continue to exist after death and be reborn into a new body. Death was not seen as the end, but as a transition to the afterlife. The ancient Egyptians believed that the Ka and Ba would continue to exist in the afterlife, where they would be reunited with the gods and enjoy eternal life. This belief in the afterlife gave humans a sense of hope and comfort, knowing that death was not the finality, but a continuation of their spiritual journey. In conclusion, the creation of humans in Egyptian mythology was a sacred and deliberate act by the gods. Humans were seen as having a unique and important role in maintaining the cosmic order and were closely connected to the gods. They were given the gift of free will and had certain responsibilities towards the gods and each other. The belief in the afterlife provided humans with hope and a sense of continuity beyond death. The creation of humans in Egyptian mythology reflects the ancient Egyptians' deep reverence for life, their belief in the divine nature of humanity, and their understanding of the interconnectedness of all beings. Ra, the sun god Ra, also known as Re, was one of the most important and powerful gods in ancient Egyptian mythology. He was the god of the sun, the bringer of light and life, and the ruler of the heavens. Ra was often depicted as a man with the head of a falcon, wearing a sun disk on his head, surrounded by a serpent. He was believed to travel across the sky during the day and descend into the underworld at night, only to rise again the next morning. According to Egyptian mythology, Ra was the creator of the world and all living beings. He was believed to have emerged from the primordial waters of Nun, bringing order and light to the chaotic universe. Ra was often associated with the concept of Ma'at, which represented truth, justice, and cosmic balance. As the sun god, Ra was seen as the ultimate source of life and the sustainer of all living things. Ra was not only the god of the sun, but also the god of kingship and the patron deity of pharaohs. The pharaohs were believed to be the earthly embodiment of Ra, 
and it was their duty to uphold Ma'at and ensure the well-being of their people. Ra was often depicted as a powerful and majestic figure, wearing the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt, symbolizing his dominion over the entire kingdom. One of the most famous myths associated with Ra is the sunboat myth. According to this myth, Ra traveled across the sky in a boat called the Bark of Millions of Years. The boat was believed to carry Ra during the day, and at night, it would sail through the treacherous waters of the underworld, battling the serpent Apophis, who sought to devour the sun. The successful journey of Ra's boat ensured the continuation of life and the defeat of chaos. Ra was also closely associated with the concept of resurrection and the afterlife. It was believed that Ra would die and be reborn each day, symbolizing the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. This belief in the eternal nature of Ra's existence gave hope to the ancient Egyptians that they too could achieve immortality and be reunited with Ra in the afterlife. In temples dedicated to Ra, priests perform daily rituals and ceremonies to honor and appease the sun god. These rituals included offerings of food, drink, and incense, as well as prayers and hymns praising Ra's power and benevolence. The temples of Ra were often grand and magnificent structures, reflecting the importance and reverence accorded to the sun god. Ra's influence extended beyond religious practices and temples. His image and symbols were widely used in Egyptian art and architecture. The sun disk, known as the Aten, became a prominent symbol of divine power and was often depicted in reliefs, statues, and amulets. Ra's association with kingship also influenced the design and decoration of royal tombs and palaces, which often featured solar motifs and references to Ra's role as the divine ruler. The worship of Ra also had a significant impact on Egyptian literature and poetry. Many hymns and prayers dedicated to Ra have been preserved in ancient texts, showcasing the poetic and lyrical qualities of Egyptian religious literature. These texts praised Ra's beauty, power, and wisdom, and expressed gratitude for his life-giving rays that illuminated the world. The influence of Ra and Egyptian mythology extended beyond the borders of Egypt. As trade and cultural exchange flourished, the gods and myths of ancient Egypt spread to neighboring civilizations, such as Nubia and Canaan. In these regions, Ra was often syncretized with local deities, creating new hybrid gods and religious practices. Today, the legacy of Ra and Egyptian mythology continues to captivate and inspire people around the world. The ancient myths and stories of Ra's journey through the sky and the underworld still resonate with our fascination for the mysteries of the universe. The symbolism and imagery associated with Ra, such as the sun disk and the falcon, are still recognized and appreciated for their aesthetic and spiritual significance. In conclusion, Ra, the sun god, played a central role in Egyptian mythology and religious beliefs. As the bringer of light and life, Ra was revered as the ultimate source of power and the sustainer of all living things. His journey across the sky and battles with the serpent Apophis symbolized the eternal struggle between order and chaos. The worship of Ra influenced various aspects of ancient Egyptian culture, from art and architecture to literature and religious practices, Today, the legacy of Ra and Egyptian mythology continues to fascinate and inspire people around the world. As we stand at the threshold of discovery, remember that every Monday and Thursday, a new piece of the puzzle will be revealed. Subscribe now and let the allure of the first chapter beckon you into the realm of myths and legends. Until we meet again in the shadow of the pyramids, may you remain entranced by the mystery forever spellbound.